Hello and welcome to episode 82 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Harrogate Town. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. I'm feeling positive after that Piemonte Calcio win. Anything is possible in this save. We've got a big one against Real Madrid coming up maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're rotating it against Fulham here. Should get the win. Little spin. That's Mustafa name. Who's making that run? Lovely run. It's burning. Hey, burning. Shrugs off the challenge of a defender. Gets his first Harrogate Town goal. Leaps over the corner flag. I don't know if Cosme's going to get there. Yes, he is. Cosme. Oh, off the post. Cotton and Alex the punch, even though he probably should have been able to grab that with the amount of time available to him. Oh, knock, knock. Who's there? Amador skips past the challenge. Maybe Mustafa Name is offside. How disappointing. Outside of the goal, nothing has happened. That first half was atrocious. Standing tackle by Stone Lukoki. Hey, at least the defenders have been... Oh, I thought it was going in. At least the defenders have been solid. Dimian Kobe's effort here. I think if it was on target, top corner, goalkeeper's not getting that. Very, very close. Farrell's in the Fulham nets. Just a little nod to him. He's been added by one of the patrons. High stamina players, really, we're looking for. 94 for Skalitsky, so he should be good for Real Madrid. 92 stamina on Adonez and Woodward. This is Lopez. Opening here. Is Burning going to catch it? I'd expect that he's quick. All regens are. It's Burning. Oh, he's taken the fight to Fulham. Well done. The other time is up. The final whistle blows and Arrogate Town win by a comfortable two-goal margin. Both by midfielder Paul Burning. Massive game here. Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. Unbelievable. This is what you want for the European ties. Could make a big statement here. Especially you, Jursen. Just coming into the first team after that magnificent display against Piemonte Calcio. Yes. And through the midfielders into Freddie Woodward. Out wide to Adonez. Two against two. Big chance here for Arrogate Town as we break away across. Yes! Yes! That Yerson Rower movement is just adding a different dimension, man. That's intercepted by Freddie Woodward. He is getting better and better. Ball to Olegea shouldn't be offside. Look at the amount of shirts they've got here. Adonias makes it too. Lashed in top corner. We can do anything here, boys. I don't think Real Madrid can deal with this. Can we flick it in? Oh, Skalitsky. Maybe not. God, it's a mess in there. I think it was Yarno Jokinen wanting to throw a leg at it. Yarno again. Nah, definitely offside there. Big wins. Freddie Woodward dominated. Freddie Woodward. Oh my goodness. It is Jurson Roa. The movement to kill eight. 3 0 Harrogate Town. Rojas. And again, a little 1 2 between him and Adonez. Edge of the box. Huh? Controlled by Alan Papa. Oh! Oh! It's 4 0. That's the best of the bunch. Well, we know how precarious a position is. Up at 3-0 in the Champions League. Talk to Piemonte Calcio about that. 4-0, I think it's dead and buried. That's an incredible finish. Alan Papo, what a player. I thought we could take all that experience and do quite well here. Never did I think at 40 minutes we'd be 4-0 up. We're looking for more. Alagea strong, can just pull it back. Alan Papo, it's Jerson Rower for five. I'm sorry. We are massacring one of the great European clubs. We've got a free man. Oh, it's nailed to Yarno Jokinen. Control's perfect. This is Alan Papa. Setting up Jurson Rower. It could be six. It's 6-0 Harrogate Town. And that's a Rower hat trick. A little Edinson Cavani. Yes, Louis Price. Brilliant. Rojas is going over. The fullbacks are committed to the attack. It's Jurson Rower. Again, he could get a fourth. Instead, it's been pushed around the post. Courtois's been a busy man. Oh, good back heel. And there's an opening in the middle. Radu Flocker tried to slide in, tried to close it out. No clean sheet as Valverde gets a consolation. I'm devastated. No, I'm not. 
<laughs> I'm not. I'm lying. This is not authentic. Real Madrid fans wouldn't be cheering in the stands. 6-1 down. Come on now. What a result. Yes, and Rauer grabs the match ball as Harrogate Town come into the Bernabeu and just slap up Real Madrid. Something silly. 6-1 the final score. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Dial 999, I've just witnessed a murder. Real have been killed. Got to do it again, four days time. Cause I'm pretty sure next up, Manchester United. He's called Miro Miro. Great name. I think we're gonna have to go for the same team, even though they're slightly tired. Harrogate Town against Manchester United. Oh, they're playing Hililovic. We should be fine. Skalitsky's in. Oh! We really should have been celebrating a goal there. Skalitsky, not a good finish at all. We're moving it too smooth for them. It is Alan Papa! Great save by Dean Henderson. Mixing it up. Let's get Olegea on that. Let's try and take a long shot. Oh my god, what a hit. What a hit. It's taken me very much by surprise. I don't know who scored it. Doesn't look like an attacker. It's a striker's finish. We've got some work to do. Olegé has been forced way too much on the outside. Here's some Ro Oh no! Here's Rojas. Yes, that's a ball. Great finish. Olegé is going to drive inside. Cosme, yeah, did a little bit. Well, that was really poor defending. And a winning goal, I think. Valerie Olegea has just put the nail in the United coffin. Sure that we'll see it reflected in the stats. It's a full-time score of Harrogate 2, Man United 1. I'm just surprised that it took all the way up to that second goal, whenever it was 75th minute, to really take a stronghold on this game. Match facts. Harrogate Town, 11 shots to Manchester United's three. Players on international duty, we've got Olegea, Flocko, The Nut, Cartunen, Joachim, Roa, Dolly, Truin, Odonez, and Papa. Papa's gone into the Argentinian team. Brighton are getting the full force here in our new third kit. It's very tough to break down. The combination of Brighton's five-man defense and the lighting, the horrific lighting that we've got at the Yamex Stadium today, making this a very tricky day. Cartunen's coming out. Getting chipped. It's a goal for Brighton. Well, what can I say? It's going to be much tougher than we ever expected it to be. Go back to Alan Papa here. He could take a long shot. Effort hits the post. Skalitsky back in. Keepers recovered. Find Alan Papa. More space for Alan Papa and a brilliant save. Ball floated in. Flocker gets the equaliser for Harrogate Town. Here is Cosme. We could swing that. Not enough spin. Player to watch is Radu Flocker. If you don't watch him, he might kill you. Try and open up Skalitsky. Yes. Oh, well, there was a marker, but he wasn't quick enough. Tony Skalitsky. Oh, they put it into their own net. <laughs> yes. Cool. You know what? That lad needed it. Tony Skalitsky has not been good in front of goal. I don't have a clue what the number 32 was trying. Maybe trying to head it back to the goalkeeper. Got it horrifically wrong. Victor Nelson on goal. Just put it out for a corner kick. Well, maybe they didn't want to deal with Radu Flocker again. Totally understandable. Brighton are up against Man City. Next. Oh, that's a really poor pass by Jarno Jokinen. And an easy goal for Brighton as we make a horrific error trying to pass it out from defence. Alan Papa opening. It is gone. Oh, Jokinen! We haven't seen a Jano Jokinen goal in some time. There he is. Very reluctant. Didn't want to lose. Hopefully they can carry that reluctancy into the Manchester City game and get a result there to help us out. Fingers crossed. Go on, Brighton. It's a big welcome back for Crabchick playing central attacking midfield. Harrogate Town against FC Michland. Match sharpness just doesn't make sense, does it? Like, how could you say Amador's sharp? He doesn't look sharp at all. That's a goal. I'd seen it coming. Good thing is we've got the substitutes on now. But it would have been nice to kick it out of play before that happened. Don't let all the good work get undone here. Not against Michelin. Not like this. It's the ball into Kravchik. I mean, that's an easy pass. He should be making that. Jerson Roa, bottom corner. We've got work to do. 30 minutes. Crack on. It's going to be dropping for Ivan Bedelli. 
Videli. Pravchik. Uh, onside. Yes. Number 28. It's Lopez. Gets us in the lead. Kravchik, two assists. Great return. No matter how bad this is, at least we've got through it. Amador! Knock, knock! Who's there? Amador! Is that another Kravchik assist? Indeed it is. As a whole, the passing was garbage. Of course, match sharpness uh, plays into that. But Kravchik was solid when the pass needed to be played. He got it right. Good goals as well, eventually. Uh, Rowers inclusion, Amador, Bedelli. Those players with the green diamonds really did help us out. Potential boost this episode go to squad numbers 8, 46, and 12. 8 is Alistair Lennox. I think 12 is Valerie Olajeo. 46 is Olympio Brysag. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give it a like. And if you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. Big thanks to everybody on the right-hand side for supporting me financially on Patreon. See you next time. Bye-bye.